Right, so it's nice for the co-organizer to have his son in, but he's had an outstanding week all week. He's a two-time state champion from Pennsylvania, and uh, I like the attitude of Dan Rule. He said everybody should be here. I came here to wrestle the best, and a few of the people uh, were hiding, and he keeps uh, they keep mentioning those Pennsylvania guys, the Iowa. So I think the challenge, the gauntlet is thrown out next year for uh, maybe uh, a few more of the PA guys to show up. You know, uh, I know Bob Ferraro is pretty tough. Did you see the way they warned him, warmed him up just before he came out there? His coach whacked him up the side of the head a couple times. <laughs> He's used to that. <laughs> He's also seventh in his class with a 3.85 GPA. And it's not a given that he will be a Bucknell Bison. Uh, he's considering his dad's school Bucknell, but he's also looking at Indiana, North Carolina State, Wisconsin, and Penn State. Colin Vino is looking at Minnesota, Indiana, Bakersfield, and BYU. So these two young men have a lot of colleges on their mind and an also a national championship. I'll give you an idea of uh, what some of the folks around the country think of Bob Ferraro. He's highly regarded. I was talking with Joe McFarland, the fine coach from Indiana, the other day, and I happened to glance over at his sheet as he looked at the brackets, and he had a big star next to Ferraro's name with the word stud written. Colin Bino just gave the closest thing to a headbutt that you'll have, and he really shook up Bob Ferraro to start this match. Colin Bino told me, he said, I'm a physical wrestler, and I think he almost cut Ferraro over the right eye. The other wrestler, wrestler has been able to gain an advantage, although Colin Bino is in on a leg right now, but Ferraro counters nicely. Colin Bino left his calling card a little bang to start this match out, and uh, Ferrara has to establish his territory now early in this match to show that he's going to be around at the end. A couple of other schools besides uh, Cal Bakersfield interested in uh, Colin Bini, and that would be Minnesota and uh, Indiana and BYU. Colin Bino, 57 and 0 this year. He's undefeated, 57 straight wins. Both wrestlers still feeling each other out. Columbini rides Ferraro off the mat. This is not the, the, the style that Ferraro likes. He likes to, uh, to wrestle on the mat. He's in on a leg. He's in on a single. Columbini hasn't been down yet. He said he doesn't like these. He's a, he's a tie-up and takedown man. Ferraro still trying to put him to the mat, and he gets two points for the takedown. Bob great, Ferraro. Great move by Ferraro. They go off the mat with nine seconds remaining in the first period. Ferraro leading 2 nothing. This is going to be great stuff, George, here, because uh, you can tell both very well coached. Uh, they have a lot of mental toughness going into this match. Alambini in the down position tries to struggle out of the hold of Ferraro. Ferraro. Trying to make a move at the end of that period, and it's 2-0 Ferraro at the end of one period. We mentioned the grade point average of Ferraro. Colombini is a three-point. He wants to go into physical therapy. the action something for you fans to, to take a look at he likes to work up high and then go for the pin for the kill Colin Beanie from California has eight family members here and there uh, we'll hear some shouting going on in for his favor because he brought a lot of people down from California Ferraro starting from the down for the position as we start the second period trying to struggle out of that hole and he gets two points for the reversal. Two points for the reversal for Ferraro. He leads 4 nothing. Colombini is complaining. The coach wants to uh, 
talk to the official about an interpretation. And the officials do not want to talk to the coach. <laughs> Colombini in the down position. And this is Ferraro's meet. He, he likes to, to, to wrestle on the mat, uses his legs. He's a leg man, a bar man. He likes to ride his opponent. Working up high, as is his custom. Colin Beatty beat Collins. He's got the half Nelson. From New York in the semifinals now, in a great match. Now he relinquishes that hold. Now he's trying for a, a half Nelson on the other side. Colin Beatty trying to stand up, and they go off the mat. Physical conditioning is going to have a lot to do with this winner, George. The one that uh, the third period... They're working so hard in the first two periods. We'll see who has something left in the last two minutes. Once again, in the down position, it's Brett Colombini from Ukiah High School in California. Bob Ferraro, his opponent from Lewisburg High School in Pennsylvania. He beat Stan Banks in the, uh, from North Carolina in the semifinals. Ferraro using his legs well once again. Now he's trying to turn his opponent. Always tries to get up high, and then he goes for the kill from there. Trying to work a cross body. So far, California has four in the finals. They don't have a national champion yet. Mr. Colombini would be the first. Ferrara would be the second from Pennsylvania. Iowa is the only dual winner so far. They have two that have won national championships here. Oklahoma won, Montana won, Utah won, New Jersey, Delaware, and Florida all have one national champ. 38 seconds remaining, second period. Ferraro leading 4-0 over Colombini. Ferraro now moves in. Once again, he's working up high on Colombini. He's trying to roll him over. He's got the cross body on him. 14 seconds. Good move by Ferrara going out of bounds, and he continued the roll. Ferrara, George, is really controlling Cambini from the top position, and uh, that's what he told us earlier he would try to do, and he really has done a masterful job tonight doing that. Takes after his dad as a wrestler. His dad was a very, very good leg man and, uh, and uh, uh, uses the bar very well. He admitted that. He said, I really have, uh, I, I studied my father's career and I knew he was a leg and a bar man. <laughs> Ferraro had something going there as the period ends. With Ferraro leading 4 nothing as we move to period number three. Cambini is not happy at all with the referees as he gives them a, a look of dismay. He want, right now, he, uh, <laughs> and I wouldn't get that young man too uh, upset. He looks like uh, he could handle himself. Having a discussion with his coach, and Ferraro is back out on the mat as we move into the third period. Bob Ferraro from Lewisburg High School in Pennsylvania leading Brett Columbini in California 4 nothing. Interesting match of schools, Indiana, Minnesota, Bakersfield, and BYU in his final four of the colleges that he may attend. As we said, BYU lost the WAC championship to Wyoming this past year. Bakersfield was second to Arizona State. Arizona State once again controlled the West Coast. One point for the escape for Columbini as he made a strong move to get away from Ferraro. Very quick move. He shoots in on a leg. He can't get in there. This is going to be a great third period because Columbini is upset. He does not want to lose this national championship. Ferraro in on a leg quickly. Columbini and Ferraro locked up, and Ferraro 
gets two points for the takedown. That's a big two points, putting him up six to one. Ferrara from Pennsylvania, Lewisburg. Look at the way he uses his leg. He ties his man up. He's tremendous in this position when he's riding his man. He is definitely a mat man. He knows he's been, he looks like he's been to clinics all his life and with his father coaching, I guess he has. Colombini in the down position with a minute 19 remaining in the match. I asked him if his mother would uh, cut out his meals if he didn't go to Bucknell, and he said, no, no, she's, uh, she's letting me decide, and I'm gonna look at a lot of schools, Penn State, Wisconsin, Indiana, as you mentioned, George. They go off the mat, they'll bring him back into the center of the mat. Penn State started the season kind of slow, losing to Bloomsburg and West Virginia, but they came back strong in the IWLs, or I should say EWLs, and they, they won that and did very well in the Nationals. West Virginia finished... I think Penn State Penn was... Penn State finished sixth in the Nationals, yes. After losing to West Virginia earlier, they finished higher than them in the Nationals. So Penn State made a good comeback, and uh, Mr. Ferrara probably would be look good in that lineup, as he would in Bucknell's or Indiana's or anybody's. Tremendous mental wrestler. You can see out there he knows exactly what he's going for at all times. Oh, he has definitely frustrated uh, Brett Colombini this evening. Pressure in the half Nelson right now by Ferraro. And Calabini is so strong physically, he just hasn't had a chance to get physical in this match. And there's one point for the escape by Colombini with 27 seconds remaining. Ferraro in control, leading 6-2. to two. Ferraro will be tough. To Columbini get, hurt his knee. Right, to get four points from in 27 seconds. Very, very smart wrestler. Yes, you can see that. He, uh, he was the only one that told us that uh, he likes to get down there on that mat. He, uh, he knows what he's doing when you're down there. Uh, everyone else had that freestyle takedown approach. Well, really, really, in this day and age, with the, the style of wrestling that uh, seems to be prevailing in the United States, uh, Ferraro is a bit of a throwback. He is, and uh, he's so different. That's why he's very dif uh, difficult to wrestle against, and uh, he's proved it in this championship. He would be the second Pennsylvania wrestler win a state championship. We still got one more to go, and that's in the big heavyweight division, 275 pounds. Scott Martin uh, from Lancaster Catholic, uh, the final Pennsylvanian in the finals. That'll be a great match. Alan Orts from Virginia. He's 54 and 0. He's deciding between football and basketball. That'll be our heavyweight match uh, later in the uh, evening. Right now, we've got a great one at 171 with Pennsylvania looking at California and another great big-time high school wrestling state matchup. 27 seconds remaining. Ferraro in on a leg. Driving hard. He wasn't able to complete it. Ten seconds remaining. Ferrara got up, looked at the clock. He knew exactly how much time was left. They go off the mat with three seconds remaining, and it looks like Bob Ferraro has got this one in his hip pocket at 171 pounds. And he does. Bob Ferraro, the national champion. At 171 pounds, as he decisions Brett Columbini in California, 6-2. to two. Ferraro now 126-13-1, lifetime. If it wasn't for a miscalculation early in his career, he might have been a four-time state champ. They put him in the wrong weight classification as a freshman, a clerical era, but he's made up for that. Now he's a two-time state champ and a national champ. Receives the congratulations from the coaching staff, and soon he will be joining our, our own Jim Herbstritt for some more conversation. Jim is anxiously awaiting, breathlessly awaiting. Jim is uh, huffing and puffing over there, too, as uh, Ferraro makes his way toward him on the side of the mat. Bob Ferraro. Well, I know Bob's going to say that that was one of the tougher matches he's had in his career. Let's go to Jim Herbstritt right now. Thanks very much, George. Once again, we're with Bob Ferraro, and Bob... The champion, how's it feel? 
Oh, it feels good. Go through the whole season. You just set a goal. And when it's achieved, there's no better feeling. This was one of your goals, I'm sure, be the best in your weight class, and you did it. Definitely, I think. To set a goal, you have to set the highest goal possible. This is the highest right now. So uh, I'm, I'm fa fairly happy. You sound, and it looked like a very tough match. Yeah. You had a great opponent this time. Real strong kid. All these guys, you know, they're all state champions. They all know how to win. And, you know, no one likes to lose, so everyone's wide open. It's just a good tournament and a good, good experience to prepare you for the college level. And have you thought about where you want to go after this? Um, what college? I'm kind of, I'm open to choices. Um, I, I'm, I'm really not decided on any particular place. I'm sure wherever it will be, they'll welcome you with open arms in your wrestling I team. Congratulations, that. Bob. Thanks, Thanks a lot.